How would you like to win a brand new pole lamp? Well, this isn't just any old pole lamp. It's going to be pretty cool once I hack it. And I'm going to give it away to one lucky fan. Hundreds of you have emailed me saying, hey, I'm not getting your new videos. Well, here's how to make sure you do and become a member of the Notification Squad. Once you're subscribed, or if you're already a subscriber, click the little bell next to the subscribe button. It's the same thing for desktop. Once you subscribe or are already subscribed, click that same little bell. Then you'll get a little notification box that you need to click and click save. Now you'll never miss one of my videos. Thanks for joining. Now let's get into today's project. This pole lamp comes in three sections, so we're gonna go ahead and unscrew all three sections and get started. The top portion with the three light shades is the one we're gonna be working on. We'll remove the shades from the shade holders on the bottom two lights. Those are the ones that we're gonna be working with. And they're held in place by brackets and two screws. So we're gonna remove those two screws for each bracket and hang on to those screws, so we're gonna need them later. Then to get inside, we're gonna remove the caps for the switches. They just pop off. Now using a pair of pliers, we're gonna loosen the nut that holds on the lamp socket. We'll unscrew that nut and that'll free up the lamp socket. Keep in mind that we'll be repeating everything we do with this one lamp for the other one. Now to free everything up, I'm gonna use some snips and cut the two wires going to this socket. Of course, you wanna make sure the lamp is not plugged in when you do this. I'll remove the lamp sockets and a little bit of insulation and drop these in my parts bin for another project down the road. Okay, our shade mount is completely gutted and ready to go. Now it's time to get to the wiring, and after you remove both of these lamps, you're going to have two extra wires that are going to be freed up. So we're going to clip those off, clip off the old wire nuts, strip the remaining wires, and add new wire nuts. And this is just for the very top light, which is all that's going to be left that's going to actually be a light. Now the main ingredient, two 4-inch 55-watt drivers with 10-ounce magnets. These are badass speakers and they fit beautifully inside these shades. But I want an enclosure to make them more efficient, so I'll be using these plastic food storage containers. They are absolutely perfect for the speaker. They fit flush and snug to the speaker basket. There is one slight modification I need to make to these, and that's this lip that goes around the container. So I'll use a pair of scissors and carefully trim off that lip. Now that's a better fit, and it won't interfere with the shape. All right, now it's time to get to some wiring, so I'll be using some 18-gauge speaker wire for this, and I'll be drilling a small hole in the center of the container. This is where the speaker wire will go, and it will also prevent the enclosure from being completely airtight. Now I'm gonna run a good length of wire through the container, then I'm gonna to strip the ends, keeping in mind that the white striped end will go to positive on the speaker to make sure my polarity is correct. And then I'll go ahead and solder the wires to the speaker. There's one more thing I want to do before I put this all together, and that's going to be to add some poly fiber fill inside the container. This will give me a little bit better low end out of these drivers. Okay, it's time to attach the enclosure to the speakers, so I'm going to run a generous amount of hot glue all the way around the speaker basket and secure that enclosure. It's a perfect fit. Nice and compact too. I finished both speakers and they're ready to be mounted. So I'll run the speaker wire through the shade and then I'm going to use a little bit of silicone spray in this tube in the mount just to make life easier for me to pull that cable through those turns. Okay, our next step is to secure the speaker inside the shade and we're going to use a generous amount of hot glue around the enclosure place it inside the shade and then line it up evenly with the top of the shade. And I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to add some more hot glue on the other side. This will provide for a real secure speaker. We'll attach the shade holder to the shade and now we have our first speaker assembly for our sound system. I'll repeat this entire process for the other speaker. Now I'm going to use some black burlap and this will not only allow the sound to pass through but it will also cover the speaker and give it a little bit of protection. So again using some hot glue, I'll go section at a time and slowly put this burlap over the rim of the shade. I'll keep working and make sure the burlap is tight, and when I'm all done, using a pair of scissors, I'll trim all the way around that burlap cover for a nice clean edge. 
Both speakers are done and it's time to wire them up and pump some music through this bad boy. So I'll run my wiring through the hole where the bracket goes and then attach each bracket and mount those speakers. Now for the speaker connections, I'm going to use two panel mount phono jacks or RCA jacks and I'm going to mount them in this small strip of plastic that came off an old DVD case. Using my heat gun, I'm going to take that little piece of plastic and heat it up to form it so it fits nicely around the pole. I'll drill two holes in it and then hold it over the pole as a template, make two marks, use a punch to indent that mark, and then drill those two holes out. The two speaker wires will come from the speakers and up and through those two holes. I inserted the phono jacks into our custom made piece of plastic, then it's time to solder them up. I'll use some hot glue to secure that mount in place. And the last step is to take those original switch covers and glue those in place just so it has a finished look and the two speakers look just like the light. And finally, I'll screw the posts together so our pole lamp sound system is done. Now I'm going to use this mini Bluetooth stereo receiver and power amp that puts out 30 watts per channel. If you want to take a look at one of these, there's a link in the description. Our pole lamp sound system is done and it kicks. It's hard to tell in the video, but believe me, this thing gets nice and loud and sounds great. And as you can see, I still have one working light and maybe in the next version of this project, I'll wire a circuit where the light flashes to the music. So how would you like to win this custom built by Kip K pole lamp sound system? But first, I want to tell you who helped me make this show possible for you, Harry's. I've been telling you about Harry's for a couple of years now, and there's a good reason. Their German-engineered five-blade cartridges give me a close shave every time with no nicks or cuts. Plus, they're stylish. And I don't even have to go to the store because they're delivered to my door. Plus, their super sharp blades are half the price of those big name brands in the store. When I first tried them, I got hooked because of their free trial set, which comes with a razor, five-blade cartridge, and shaving gel. It's free when you sign up for a shave plan, just $3 to cover shipping. And my fans get a special deal. When you order the free trial set, you get a free post-shave bomb with your order by using my promo code KIPK5. That's H-A-R-R-Y-S dot com and use the promo code KIPK5 at checkout to get the post-shave bomb added to your order for free. Click on the link below to start a new shaving experience with Harry's dot com. Okay, to win my custom pole lamp sound system, all you have to do is like this video, which I hope you do, and then head over to my Facebook fan page at facebook.com slash kipkvideos and just comment on the pole lamp sound system post you'll see at the top. You can like my fan page too if you haven't already. In about a week, I'll randomly pick a winner and the pole lamp sound system is yours. I'll update this video with the winner. Thanks for watching. Good luck, and I'll see you next time.